his shooting girls in the foot, yo. He was little, though. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, ain't no excuse for that shit. He, he doesn't. He, but he wasn't threatened. I don't know what happened. All I know is he was little Megan, she was big. He probably felt threatened. I don't know. Just, I don't Megan, know, Megan spoke her side. Megan I, said there was arguing in the car. The I, evidence, at, when, when, she got, when she got tired of arguing, she left the car and was walking away. And he said, pow, pow, everybody going down. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not a threat. She was out the car. So you was that mad. You was like, oh, you where you going? <laughs> bro, he, All right, that ain't funny. That, I'm so sorry. That ain't yeah, funny. yeah, see, bro. I don't want to do that. Yeah, that ain't funny. That. That, that, that is some tragedy. I know she uh, is um, traumatized by that. I apologize immediately. I, that's fucked up. Bro, you ain't even got a hairline. You out here popping bullets at feet, bro. Bro, that's fucked up. Come on. I don't bro. know why he did that to that girl, though. Like, it's, there's no reason. I don't understand why he had to shoot her, so I, I don't know. Out of, probably, out of ego, he probably lost the argument. <laughs> and she probably she probably ended the argument, little motherfucker. <laughs> with your with, with that, that's right with your scraggly hairline. What? She probably snapped on that nigga. Well, she probably with your scraggly hairline. Little bad. dude, all bigger than you. Little Man. bitch, that's why you got that security with you. Bitch, I don't need security. <laughs> 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 I'm so damn. Uh, I apologize. Yeah, nigga, Here I go that, again. That nigga, he, he he messed up for that. Like all just aside, that that's wrong, man. Like I'm a strong believer. Don't even put your hands on them. But you, as far as shooting, I really don't see a reason for that. You know? Yeah, I don't even understand why he bought a gun to that situation. Period. Like mm-hmm. for real, for real. Like she already out the car, bro. You should have just told that motherfucker to stop on the game. Welcome back. Front Porch Conversations. Oh, yes. We are back again. Front Porch Conversations. Now, I know y'all see, got somebody with me. Yes, we got a guest today. But he's not just a guest. This man, he's a son. He's a brother. Best friend, father, husband. He wear plenty hats. You feel me? A real one. My homeboy, my brother. Blood won't make us uh, closer. Ronnie. What's going on, man? What's, up, bro? What's going on with appreciate you? you? Appreciate hey, you. Hey, appreciate you, man, for blessing me with your presence, bro. Like, like I told the people, some of your titles that you hold, you no know, um, best, best friend, brother. For me, I give you both of those um, titles, you know what I'm saying? So, just let the people know, just a quick little background, like, shoot, how long we been rocking, bro? Like, Shit, man, let me see. I'm about to be 32. So, at least about... 16, 17 years. 16, 17. I was hitting that big boy twin. Yeah, 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 we have that. We have that. Hey, hey. Talking about putting time in. Rocking hey. like cut off stock. You <laughs> said, hey, you don't make too many of them, man. Right. Hey, but I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm gonna give you props on fatherhood, yo. You know, I been on, I be watching you from the outside looking in, man. You know, me. Be, uh, wanting to be a uh, family man in the future also, bro, you was are, you are a good example to watch when it comes to fatherhood, man. So I just want to give you props for goddamn holding down your role that. as a appreciate father. That. You know what I'm saying? Because you be, you beating stereotypes in the world. You yeah, know, the I stereotype... To, I got to. I got to. Yeah, the, the stereotypes is... Uh, black man is not... Uh, they're not taking care of their kids, you know? Uh... They, they, they hopping houses and everything, and you take care of all of them, you got all of them on the one roof, and you doing it like, hey, how you supposed to, you know, it's 100, like a man. And well, I, 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 I promise you, it ain't no other way. I promise <laughs> I can't see it no other way. Man, you know how many people just start making babies and don't do not do nothing? Yeah. Like, like literally, man, it be one person with about five kids. He got all of them, let's say he got four different baby moms. All right, four different baby moms, five kids. Five kids. Five kids. Yeah. Four different baby moms. Yeah, they spit. <laughs> well, I'm shoot the club. Oh, God, that nigga hit a let, th- let loose. Uh-huh. I promise. Man, but listen, when you got that many different women, that many different kids, you don't have any personalities you got to deal with. That's why like having just, kids. Man, listen here, boy. Ain't no way. So, your best bet, I mean, I put it like this. If all that was by one woman, it'd be a whole lot easier. Mm-hmm. Now that 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 
if it's about one woman, that that's a whole lot easier. Right. And y'all can work with each other. Yeah. Now, Especially if you're making all the kids together. You got to have some type exactly. of... Exactly. That, 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 that's, that's the key to it, though. Y'all <laughs> got to be able to work together. But, uh, man, I just can't see somebody just making all them kids and not, not, not following through with it. And, 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 um, and shit, I, I feel that. I feel that because I feel like if you're not that type of dude, you're not even going to be cool with those type of dudes. Nah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like. Um, I be trying to tell people, as a like, what comes with being 100, like you can't be around people that's not. It, it's gonna irritate you, or you gonna constantly get on them but and build listen, them up to be 100. But if listen they, to me though. Listen to me though. Nah, listen. nah, nah. You, you. I understand where you where you going with that though, because you you pretty much saying I shouldn't deal with nobody on that level that I know I ain't rocking. With. No, what I'm saying is like your best friend, like see how you my best that? friend. Yeah, like, like your best friend. He not gonna be a, a deadbeat. Oh no, no 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 no. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, can you be? Nah, I thought you were just talking about just dealing with somebody. Oh no no no. They business is they business. But I'm talking about who you rock with. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, nah, yeah nah, nah. Like, that's that's a whole nother damn story. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be like, yeah, hey bro, hey. What you, what you doing? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm Slipping. saying. Slipping. Yeah, yeah. But you need some help. But you know, it, it'll be on, on that type of level. But mm-hmm. I ain't, um, I, I just, like you said, you got, we going to build each other up. Yeah, yeah, we, we got to we gotta build each other up, man, because we don't condone deadbeats. You know, we don't condone no type of abuse, none of that. But I do got some questions when it do, um, um, when, excuse me, when it comes to fatherhood, I do got some questions. Like, What's the most underrated thrills of fatherhood? Hmm. Like some shit that just off the chain, but it's underrated. A lot of people don't don't know about it, but it's really a, a thrill. I'm waking up seeing them every day. Just that? That simple? Yeah, yeah, for real, for real. I promise. It, it, this thing about it, see, you just waking up one day and not being able to see none of them, or oh, one of them not there, yeah. that's a whole problem. Oh, where, where? That's a whole problem, so I, I wasn't mean, expecting that. Yeah, and, that then, and, and then you can just wake up and be able to like, damn, they still here, boy, we still rocking. Like, I mean, everything that else happens around you is going to happen. Mm-hmm. You can't change what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. But you can't take that for granted. You really can't. You can't take that for granted, so that's so, how so, I'm so, so just, just seeing them waking up um, to them every day is the underrated thrill. Yeah, yeah. That's hard. That's hard. Yeah, I wasn't yeah, even expecting yeah. that answer. That's hard, yo. All right. We, we right. Okay. So, I'm going to keep it going then. So, what's the big, what's the biggest lesson that you um, learned personally from fatherhood? Like, what, what, what did you learn about yourself as an individual from mm-hmm. fatherhood? How tough I am. Because it's shit. I, boy, they put you in some tight spaces, boy. <laughs> you better come through. You better come through. Go home, sit down. Now you go, go, go sit over there and cry yeah. now. Because I'm telling you, you start. I put it like this now. I, 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 you start something, you better finish. Mm-hmm. Just, that, just that simple. You start doing that, you better continue to do that. Now, and do it right. Yeah, it now, now you going to everybody. It, Everybody and everything don't go right. You feel me? So it's gonna be plenty of trip. You know, times you trip up and all that. But you still gotta. You got push to do, do better. Period. I don't care what you talking about. Mm-hmm. I just ain't never come. Period. That's just me. That that's good because I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's good to be comfortable, uh, to get comfortable uh, anyway. Because now now you're not on um, scribing. And then anything that's not growing is dead, you know? So we're supposed to continue growing and continue evolving. And whoever you with, hopefully they is pushing you to continue um, growing and evolving. That's key, too. That's key, too, because, I mean, both of us have to do, I mean, we got to push each other. Mm-hmm. If, if one pushing and another ain't doing nothing, then that's going to be a hot oh, that, That's real. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like it's time for somebody to go. Get up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this partnership ain't working. <laughs> but my last question on fatherhood, man, what advice uh, would you give a, f- a future father or a new father that's out there? Mm. Now, one, one key advice on fatherhood. 
understand your child life. And I don't care what the baby mama or the wife, whoever, whatever they talking about. Now, some, sometimes it be like, certain situations where it make it difficult, but just whatever you can do. Just, make just sure try, yeah, try to stay in the child life. So, marriage, man, locking down one, you know? Hmm. Like, what that life like? What what that marriage life like, yo? It's fun. It, it's, it, it's, 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 it's a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that's so, a lot of shit. So, so, so that, that's, not, that's not like a simple answer. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can't, you, can't, you can't put that in the like a... Uh, well, at least I can't, I can't say it's just one one thing because you know it's it's a forever thing yeah like, yeah 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 it is a forever thing man. it is a forever decision yeah so i mean i like that god damn well you're not gonna eat out the hot <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna eat questions out of pop real but that was a good answer though it's it's every it's everything yeah, it's everything it's just everything Word. so uh how, how you deal like you you find um it is is it complicated finding a uh a way to handle that everything? Yeah, yeah. Like a balance? Yeah, yeah. It's a balance every day. See, I promise you. But I mean, nah, nah. Don't get me wrong, now. Nah. It's, it's a lot of fun, but it's like... Everybody never perfect. Like, shit don't never be perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. You might as just get that out yeah, of your head. Ain't that perfect. Yeah, so, ain't that perfect. Certain shit that some people do that you... Love certain shit they do that you don't love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, I um, I I felt I felt you was going towards my theory that I have about women is that, um, you gotta learn them every day. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's a they they it's, constantly it's, change. It's a, but but it's it's a constant the same shit too. Now don't get me wrong. <laughs> now, now don't get me wrong. Now you, it's gonna be a lot of repetitive. She well at least with my wife I know that. I expect her to do well. Not expect, but you know, I know you know, I know she gonna do that. Yeah, I know she gonna yeah, do that, yeah, and I know she gonna do this. Okay. Yeah. Certain shit that I know she gonna do. Mm -hmm. I put it like that. All right. So, um, so with, with that marriage though, I got one question: Is being married on um, make Valentine's Day better? Is Valentine's Day better being married? Cause Cause that that shit, man, man, listen, listen, out. listen, listen, listen. listen. Valentine's Day, that shit over it. <laughs> like for real, for real. I ain't gonna lie. That shit over it. So you, so do you partake in? She partakes in, and I do it because of her. I don't. That that shit does nothing for me. Like you, don't, you don't be looking forward for nothing. Mm -hmm. Not God, man. I, I, <laughs> like, like, I, I be like spontaneous shit. So Valentine's Day on the on the off ass day, like that should be like love. Like, you thought Valentine's Day was some shit like man, fuck that shit. Like everybody yeah. doing the same thing. Like like yeah. that shit we I I, I don't like it. <laughs> That's to me. I, I don't like. It. But she likes right. it, so I partake in it and I make it nice for her. Okay. For him, I do That's make for it nice so for her. That's what's so up. But I mean that shit does nothing for me. <laughs> nothing. Hey, you kinda hurt my feelings, bro. No, that's enough. <laughs> I guess, I guess I'm just the emotional one. <laughs> I, mean, Bro, like, like, I, like, like, I don't I don't know the meaning behind Valentine's Day to be honest. So it, it just express express your love to the, the one you, the person you love with. Nah, 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 nah. Express it like extra that day. What? You just, every day like like this like bro, bro, Yeah, but you do it extra. Like, no, you know? this is every day, bro. Every day, this is every day, every day. You like like if you want to be married, you can't forget that shit. This shit every day. Every day you can't you can't you that's can't think too. about it like like one day this, this, this year yeah. oh that's like oh yeah I'm gonna turn up on Valentine's Day I'm gonna turn up on Christmas I'm gonna turn up on my anniversary you can't think about it like that because then the shit get old mm -hmm. you know the shit gonna yeah. like, I'm gonna pop up on a Tuesday on your ass <laughs> <laughs> yeah on oh, a Tuesday yeah <laughs> going up yeah, yeah. <laughs> tear it up Tuesday <laughs> tear it up Tuesday hey I might have to write that down you know I like that tear it up Tuesday. Yeah, I'm gonna have to write that down. Appreciate that. <laughs> Tell me. Hey, but um, last last question for marriage, yo. Just like for fatherhood, what what's the one main tip that you give the 
on future married people and the newly married people that's out there? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't give advice to married people at all, bro. I promise. You. I stay in your lane. <laughs> <laughs> do it how you do. Yeah, you feel me? Okay, like, all right. Because yeah, married like people different, bro. That's like I said, it's every day. I can't get my marriage straight. I'm not saying that it's, it's it's perfect. Nobody, I don't, I don't mm. know nobody with no perfect marriage. Yeah. But word, that, that's good though. Do so 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 the tip is stay in your lane. Yeah, stay in your lane. Do it how you do it. Exactly. <laughs> stay in your lane. I like that. I like that. Yeah. And oh, uh, and pray. I mean, yeah, keep keep God first, cause I promise. Word. Lord. He gonna he gonna help us a lot of conversations. Yeah, yeah, he gonna help us do a lot of them, but uh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, r- 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 random topic, bro. Uh, when you was younger, uh. You was into cartoons? It all depends on what cartoon it was. I was saying just period. What like did, did you watch cartoons? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So I, I got I got a couple on. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Teenage Mutant uh No, I'm tripping. <laughs> uh Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Which one? The Turtles or the Rangers, yo? I was a Ranger. I watched Ranger. My man. See? That's my thing. I watched both of them. That's my man. Yeah. I was a fan of both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I was a fan of both of them. I watched all the Ninja Turtle movies. Uh, I watched all the Ninja Turtle movies, and I was a fan of Mighty Morphin. That's the first one. Now that they went into Turbo or something. See, I like, I like, I like, after the second or third, I stopped watching it. I, I like the Turtles. Don't get me wrong. I like the Turtles, but... Um, you picked Rangers over the Turtles? Yeah. Right. When I came home every day from school, that's what was on TV. I'm, 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 I'm sticking with the Turtles. <laughs> I got another one for you. Um, Course the Cowardly Dog or Johnny Bravo? Bravo. Dang, that was fast. Bravo! <laughs> well, I'm rocking with Bravo! Over, yeah. over the dog? Man. Oh, no, 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 I got older and you know I started partaking in other stuff. Oh, okay. And, okay. and it made it funnier then. Yeah, okay, you know? all right, all right. I, I didn't understand it. The old man was funny now. Yeah, yeah, he was. The he was old brother. man, yeah, the old man was funny, but I didn't really understand it till like the the, the dog did it for me. Back then, when I was younger, bravo. Okay, okay. All right, got another one. Real rats or hey on? Mm. Yeah, got him. <laughs> It all depends on what age, though. What you mean? Did those around the same but, time? No, it ain't. Those were around the same time? Hey, uh-huh. Arnold came out after Royal Rats. Yeah, Royal Rats was way before Hey Arnold. All right, so how you feel about, um, Ben? How you, however you feel about both of them, which one's the most? Royal Rats or Hey Arnold? But that's tough, though, that's what I'm saying. Because when I was younger, it was Royal Rats all day. Like, and, like, and the Royal Rats movie was better than the Hey Arnold movie. I, 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 what, what color was the VHS for Royal Rats? And it was like green, the slime green, or orange. Orange. Yeah, I, I, I know it was one of them. <laughs> it was green, though. That's so bright color. Yeah. Like, it, all, it all depends, though. I mean, because I, when I was, like, maybe middle school, Hey Arnold, um, what that damn girl with the monkey? Girl with the monkey. Girl with the thorn bears. Thorn bears, yeah. Oh, and speaking of thorn bears, I got it on here. I fuck with the thorn bears, too. All right, since you fuck with uh, thorn bears, uh, you pick, uh, will you pick Cat Dog over Thornberry? Yeah, because I know I, I, I picked Thornberry over there because I remember Thornberry uh, episodes before. I don't remember Cat Dog episodes. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. Ooh. Dragon Ball Z. Nah, I'll fuck with Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Hold on, I, I can't even hear the second. Well, I'm saying I don't watch Dragon Ball Z at all. I, 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 I'm not going to. Dragon Ball Z or Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm going to say Pokemon because yeah, okay. I haven't played the Pokemon game before, but I never. Now, yeah, I, never watched when first came out. I seen I seen maybe like a couple episodes of Dragon Ball Z, and it was, it was. I, I ain't going to lie, I was Dragon It was Ball decent, Z. you feel me? Like, 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 I, but it was always, I, I would find myself lost. Okay. Like, I, I, I don't understand this part. Yeah, why, why is he doing this or why is he doing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm lost. Yeah. I'm, I'm going with Dragon Ball Z. 
I mean, cause I was Dragon, I, I stayed with Dragon Ball Z longer than I stayed with Pokemon. Pokemon was cool. But I ain't partaking that shit. That shit, they was, I couldn't, I'm not watching either one of them though, to be honest, cause the shit was just, hey. I mean, you know, you know, um, you know those niggas out here shooting girls in the foot, yo. He was little though. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right, no excuse for that shit. He does, he, but he wasn't threatened. I don't know what happened. All I know is he looks Megan, too big. He probably felt threatened. I don't know. Just, I Ma- don't Ma- know Megan spoke her side. I, Megan said they was arguing in the car. Then I, I, when, when, she got, when she got tired of arguing, she left the car and was walking away. And he said, pow, pow, everybody going to die. <laughs> 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 hey, well, and, 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 and he shot in the foot. Nah, nah. So that's not a threat. She was nah. out the car. So he was that man. He was like, oh, you where you going? <laughs> bro, he, All right, that ain't funny. That, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, see, bro. I don't want to do that. Yeah, that ain't funny. That. That, that, that is the tragedy. I know she uh, is um, traumatized by that. I apologize immediately. Yeah, yeah imagine me <laughs> walking away and then just somebody just shooting you in the fucking foot. That's what I'm and saying. That's, that's just wrong. nigga. Like, I, I, that's fucked up. Bro, you ain't even got a hairline. You out here popping bullets at feet, bro. Bro, that's fucked up. Come on. I don't bro. know why he did that to that girl, though. Like, it's, there's no reason. Cause I feel maybe he might have been just a very intoxicated, like like maybe I don't know, but see, but it still got to be a level of accountability. It does, it does, but that's the only reason behind the thing. Maybe he was that fucked up. Mm. Like to be our first of all, you need to say something. First of all, you gotta be you gotta be highly intoxicated. Or uh, don't get me wrong to my uh, LGB. What is it? I call it. Boy, it's every letter in the alphabet. Hey man, I, listen, I just I, said, I, I just said gay people. But it is 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 common That's for like home a gay male to be arguing with a female. You don't usually see a straight man arguing with a female unless it's emotional and they got something intertwined. Usually they don't argue. Yeah. Bro, like go and grab a face. Yeah. yeah. I'm not even gonna do that with you. Yeah. But So bro might be gay. It's just, I, <laughs> <laughs> or you out here fussing I, I, back and forth. I mean, you feel that you had to shoot her. I don't understand why you had to shoot her, so I, I don't know. Out of, probably, out of ego, he probably lost the argument. <laughs> hey, 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 she probably, she probably ended the argument, little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> with your, with, with, that, that's right, with your scraggling hairline. What? Well, she probably snapped on that nigga. Well, she probably with your scraggling hairline. Little bad. dude's all bigger than you. Little Man, bitch, that's why you got that security with you. Bitch, I don't need security. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need security. <laughs> I'm so, damn. Uh, I apologize. Here I go that, again. That nigga by the mic, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man, that's crazy. But, yeah, he, he, he messed up for that. Like, all jokes aside, that, that's wrong, man. Like, I'm a strong believer. Don't even put your hands on him. But shoot, as far as shooting, I really don't see a reason for that. You know? Yeah, I don't even understand why he bought a gun to that situation, period. Like, mm-hmm. for real, for real. Like, she already out the car, bro. You should have just told that motherfucker to stomp on the gas. Oh, bro, what about Megan calling him, like, little bitch? Because, you know, the... Bro, I don't give a fuck what the fuck but, she could have called bro, me. But when a woman the call man, you the B-word, that do hurt a little bit. Yeah, don't make me understand that. Shit, like that I said, hit hard, before, I run, before I run, look, I had no soda, nigga. That was the worst you probably would have got. I would have beat my ass with a soda bottle. <laughs> See? <laughs> But that's different. I wouldn't have shot him. <laughs> he said that's different. I wouldn't have shot him. That, that, I mean, the worst case, that, that, that's the worst case scenario. Like, I'm talking about you had to mention. Like, she probably would have had to scratch me. We probably had been already fighting or some shit in yeah. the car. Mm-hmm. Like, she walking out like, thought she done won. <laughs> <laughs> like, that type of scenario. Like, but other than that, man, nah, nah. Oh, I, I, man. I, I, like I said, it got to be something intertwined. Like, I'm not arguing with no female. I, I wouldn't even fight, a, uh, well, I wouldn't fight one, period, but if I had to, like, a choose a spot, <laughs> I wouldn't fight no woman no car, yo. You know how quick they is, like, in close quarters? Oh, my God. Yeah, hey, a woman is very dangerous in the car. Like, what? They, they ain't quick as hell. Throw, throw it in part. <laughs> they ain't even got to throw it in part. Scrape, fa fa. Oh. Mm-hmm. You got to hit with a two-piece, now you on head all by the seat, yeah. baby, shit. Yeah, you, up, you up there driving a bit stolen, on, you trying not to wreck and no sweat. <laughs> Listen, no, I, I ain't been in that uh, position. You driving, trying to stay in the lane, motherfucker, hit you. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't saying it happened to me, but I'm just saying. Oh, okay. Hell no. Oh, I, man, listen, I, I do not promote violence, but don't put your hands on me. <laughs> Please don't put your hands on me. Everybody keep their hands to themselves. For real. You know? I don't like that type of snare. And, 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 and ease on the B word. You know, that B hit hard, bro. Right? That don't feel like a hit. Especially they put, like, something in front of it. Little bitch. Man, listen. Stink mouth, bitch. I don't motherfucker call me all kind of shit. Oh, quick knitting ass bitch. <laughs> like, oh, I gotta put my grits on this motherfucker. I take you up on that drink. <laughs> gotta put my grits on this motherfucker. I take you up on that drink, bro. Hey. Yeah. But nah, man. I'm gonna end this out, but I just appreciate you coming through, man. Clowning with me. You know, this was a good episode, a relaxing episode. Appreciate you coming in, man. I appreciate you, my brother, for having me. It's exactly. been love. It's my boy Ronnie. Yeah, do this shit again. You know, holla at us, front porch conversations, and we gone.